last project of the year that we have is um, learning about buoyancy and Archimedes' principle and what makes objects float. And so the boys have a challenge of building a cardboard boat that takes those principles into play and they actually have to have two boys be able to get into a cardboard boat and be able to float and race in our pool. Um, so we get two uh, four by eight foot pieces of cardboard which will be the main structure for the boat. Then we get one roll of 48 foot duct tape and then we actually get another roll of duct tape that's maroon and black which we use for um, decorating the boat. Well, we're building a, a boat out of cardboard. We're going to try to move it across the pool with a, two students in it, only using cardboard and the uh, tape that we're given. Yeah, I, I guess sort of getting a, a holistic idea of what you're building before you actually build it, uh, that's, that's always kind of hard. We had to weigh ourselves and then uh, figure out how to spread our weight across this cardboard boat. I think the hardest part so far is definitely getting the measurements correct because if you mess it up even by a couple inches, it's bound to sink. We're, we're working on something with the front, kind of making it diagonal. We don't know if it'll actually work or not, or if it makes any difference, but... It's a pretty simple design. It has eight cubic feet, and um, we only need 4.7 cubic feet. We feel really good about our design. We have double the space we need, really, inside our boat for the displacement, so we think we won't have any problem with the sinking. Um, we're a little worried about the sides being high and our arms not being able to hit the water to paddle. I mean, the surface area is fine. Um, the only problem might be is the like integrity of the cardboard might weaken due to the like, just getting wet. I think it's everything looks good until you put it in the water. So we'll see when they get it in the water. I I, I think it should work. Um, we're we're more going for the creative design more than we are to actually win. It's a fun way of learning. When they walk away, if you ask them about it, I think the boys do a much better job remembering the concepts and the formulas because they've been able to apply it to something practical that they've had their hands on doing versus just learning it in classroom on a, on a chalkboard. It's going to be fun to see if we can make it across the pool without getting wet. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. This has probably been my favorite part of the year. It's kind of nice to wind down the year and uh, end up doing something that you know is fun, but also teaches you 